Let's set up a phone system for your business. Everybody's gonna get their own extension. You'll be able to use it for things like video conferencing, business text messaging, heck, even live chat for your website. You can connect using any device and there's no monthly user pricing. Best of all, it's super easy to get set up and everything is managed for you. You don't need to be a genius because it's hosted in the cloud. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is 3CX, and this is the service that I'm gonna be using to set up a PBX. Now, a PBX is just a private phone network for your business. Once we get that private phone network set up, then we're gonna connect what's called a SIP trunk, which allows us to talk to anybody in the world. Lots of acronyms when it comes to phones, so I'm gonna make this super easy. What we're gonna do is go to the 3CX website. I've got a link in the description, and thanks to 3CX for sponsoring today's video and you're gonna get signed up for an account. So when you click on the link in the description, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, and you'll see this. Try 3CX hosted on a free two month trial. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with a trial. Follow along with me and see if you like it, if it's a good fit for your business. Now, before I start my free trial, I just wanna point out that some really big companies are using 3CX. Coca-Cola, Toyota, Holiday Inn. So this is enterprise quality software that's available for a price that, as a small business owner, I can actually afford. All right, let's go ahead and sign up with my email address. I'll enter my name and my email and hit let's go. All right, my user account is set up and now I'm gonna go ahead and choose my plan. I wanna grab the third one down here that says 3CX hosted and then pro slash enterprise. I'll grab that and choose next. All right, next we need to choose our domain name. So I'm gonna type in profitable tools and then I'll choose the location nearest me. Here's one in Minnesota where I'm located. So I'll click on that and choose next. All right, next up, we're gonna set our extension format. I'm just gonna go with a three digit extension. I feel like that's kind of the norm for most businesses. I'll choose that and go to the next step. I'm gonna go ahead and set my time zone. Under prompts, I'll choose the standard English prompt set and hit next. Okay, now it's going ahead and setting up everything for me. You can see the checklist of everything it's doing. It's gonna set up the domain name. It's gonna make sure it's secure with an SSL certificate, configure all the software, and we'll be good to go. We'll start adding our users and connect our phone number and be able to start making phone calls before you know it. All right, everything is almost done. You can see that there's check marks next to everything. We're on the last step here. It's configuring a firewall for security. So have five minutes left. So I have a feeling this is gonna finish up early. Yep, sure enough, it did finish early and our 3CX is ready. It gives me my login credentials here as well as a website to log into. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy that password and let's go ahead and log in. First thing it did is prompt me to install the 3CX app. There is an app that's available for iOS as well as Android. We'll look at that a little bit later on in the video. Now, the first thing I recommend you doing is going over to the gear icon in the lower left-hand corner. From here, you're gonna choose users and you're gonna add in everybody at your company that you want to have a dedicated extension. One really cool thing about 3CX is they bill you by the system, not the user. You're basically paying for how many concurrent calls you're making, not necessarily every individual user. This is great for scaling. It's all included in one flat rate. Don't worry about it. Just go ahead and add everybody. We're on the free trial. We get unlimited usage right now. So I'm gonna click right here and hit add user. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my wife. I know restricting permissions is important to a lot of you, so I wanna point out that there are user roles inside of 3CX. So the default position is user, but I could also set someone up to be a receptionist or even someone to be a system administrator if they're gonna help me configure everything on the back end. For now, I'll leave the wife over at user and go ahead and hit save. All right, so now I've got two users set up. You can see me right here with extension 100. And my wife, Amy, is over here with extension 101. Once you add all your users, you're gonna have your own internal phone system. You'll be able to use all of the features of 3CX internally. So you can do things like video calls, text messages, and of course, voice calls. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pretend to call Amy right now. She's not gonna answer, but I'll click up here on the phone icon and I can simply type in her extension or even just enter her name if I don't know it. But I do know her extension is 101, so I'll type that in. You can see it pulls up her name right here. So just to confirm, I'm calling the right person. I can choose between a video call and a voice call. Let's go ahead and do a voice call and see what it sounds like. Record your message and press pound or press star to contact the operator. Hey Amy, I'm just trying out the new phone system. Hopefully you get this message okay and you're doing really good. All right, have a great day. Okay, so obviously I just left her a voicemail. She doesn't even know I'm doing this, so there's no way that she could have picked up. But if she did have it configured on her phone, the app would ring and she'd be able to answer through the app. It wouldn't affect her cell phone plan. It would be entirely different. Now, we have not connected this system to the outside world yet, so we will need to do that. In order to connect 3CX to the outside world, we're gonna need something called a SIP trunk. A SIP trunk is basically a private phone number that works over the internet. 
You can use many different SIP providers. There's a list on their website. So basically what you'd want to do is go to the 3CX website, find your country. I'm in the United States. And then it's going to give you a list of the providers that you can choose from. So go ahead and scroll through this page and find a provider that looks good to you. I'm going to go ahead and choose Amazon Chime because they're a provider that's going to work for a lot of different countries. So I can demonstrate connecting this up over to 3CX and we can see what that looks like. Now remember, 3CX is the internal phone system. That's where we have the free two month trial. But to connect it to the outside world, we're gonna need a service like Amazon Chime. And this is not free and unfortunately, there's no free trial for it. However, it is very, very affordable. Let me walk you through the pricing for Chime. It's gonna be a dollar per month per phone line. If you receive calls, it's right around 002 cents per minute. So let's do the math on that. If we talk for an hour, that's going to cost us about 13 cents for inbound calls, 13 cents per hour. And outbound calls obviously depend on who you are calling. So let me just think about a domestic phone call. Let's find the pricing for the United States. All right, outbound calls a little bit more expensive. It's 0 0.0048 cents per minute. So if we do the math on that, it's going to be roughly double, right? So it's going to be 28, almost 29 cents per hour of talking on the phone when you make the call. Okay, so these are very affordable numbers, even if you're on the phone at 24. All right, I'm logged into AWS. I'm going to go ahead and type in Chime. That's going to pull open the services that are related to Chime. The one I want is right here, Amazon Chime SDK. I'll click on that. And now I'm going to go to the left-hand sidebar. I'll expand that with this hamburger icon. And then I'll go down to where it says phone number management and click right here. Next, I'm gonna go over to the orders tab, the last one, the line here, and I'll click provision phone numbers. Under product type, I wanna choose voice connector. My country code is gonna be the United States of America. I want this to be a local phone number, but if you wanted to have a toll free number, you could do that as well. And now I can choose by location or area code. I wanna use the 612 area code. So let's go ahead and look this up. And here we go, we've got a long list of phone numbers that are available. All right, I'm just gonna choose this first one right here. You could enter a name if you wanted to, but I'm just going to go ahead and create the phone number order. Okay, the order has been placed. I will have to wait a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and check it out inside of the orders tab. It says processing right now. Okay, a few seconds have passed and now my order is successful. My phone number is available to me in my inventory. Next, we're going to need to add what's called a voice connector. So on the left hand sidebar, click on that hamburger icon again and go over to voice connectors. We're going to click on the create voice connector button. I'll give the connector a name. And under encryption, I'm gonna set this to disabled. Now let's go ahead and create the voice connector. Okay, under voice connectors, I'm gonna click on the one that I just created right here, 3CX demo. Now, before I proceed to the next step, I wanna make sure that my encryption is set to disabled. That is not supported on 3CX. If yours is currently enabled, make sure you hit disabled and then choose save over here. Now moving to the next section on termination right here, we're gonna enable this. And then under allowed host list, we need to add our 3CX IP address. So click new and then go back over to your 3CX admin dashboard. From there, go to the gear icon and then choose voice and chat, add trunk, and you'll see your IP address listed right here. I'm going to copy this, go back over to Amazon Chime and paste that in. I'll hit add. And there we go. You should see your IP address show up in this list. Now we're almost done with this section, but there is a few more things that we need to do. First of all, we're gonna go ahead and set up what countries we can call to. So under calling plan here, I'm gonna set this up to just work in the United States just for the sake of ease, but we could easily just select everything, I suppose. That would probably be the easiest thing to do. So I'll do that for this video. And then down under credentials, we need to set up some credentials. I'm gonna click new and add a username and password in. We're gonna remember these because we need to enter them in over on 3CX a little bit later on. All right, I've got my username and password. I'm gonna hit save. And now I'll scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page and hit save once again. Make sure you see this green bar at the top. That tells you that termination has actually been enabled. And then we'll go to the next tab over here for or origination. And here we're gonna enable this as well. We're gonna choose new to add a new inbound route. All right, so let's go through the form here. I added in my host name that I got when I set up 3CX. For port, I chose 5060, which is the default from 3CX. Protocol is TCP, priority is one, and weight is five. All right, let's hit add. All right, my new route has been created. I'm gonna make sure I click save. And again, we'll look for that green banner at the top. All right, next we're gonna head over to the phone numbers tab, and we're gonna go ahead and assign from inventory. And I'll just choose the phone number that I just created and assign from inventory. 
There we go. Now this is assigned to this voice connector. So now back over in 3CX, we're going to go ahead and fill out this form to add our trunk. So the first thing you're going to want to do is add in a name, which I've called mine Amazon Chime Voice Connector. And then I've routed this call to go right to my user account. Now, if I wanted to, I could choose something like a digital receptionist so that people could choose from a menu and have their calls automatically routed to the right person. But for now, we'll keep it simple and have it go right to me. Under registrar slash server, we're going to go over to Amazon Chime. And then under voice connectors, you're going to see your outbound host name right here. Just simply copy this and paste it over into 3CX. So this is what mine looks like. For the main trunk number, you're going to go back over to Chime, and then you'll find your phone numbers right here, phone number management, and just copy this phone number, including the plus sign and the one at the beginning. We want the whole thing. Add that right in as your main trunk number, and then add in your username and password that we set up inside of Chime, and go ahead and hit save. All right, now everything should be configured. I've got my regular cell phone app out here, not the 3CX app, my regular phone app on my iPhone. And if I go ahead and call this right now, it should ring me inside of 3CX. And sure enough, there it is. Now, I could certainly answer the phone from the computer if that's where I'm located, but it's probably going to be a lot more convenient for me to answer it on my phone, which is why the 3CX app is so helpful. Okay, so here is the 3CX app, and I haven't done anything yet. We're going to go right through the setup. So they're just going to show me some different options I have. I can actually connect to my account right here via a QR code. So let's go ahead and choose that. I'll choose scan QR code, grant access to my camera. And then back in my 3CX account, there is a little icon right up here. I can click on this and then I'll just go ahead and point. There it is. I didn't even barely get a chance to lift my phone up to the screen. And I am now logged into my 3CX account. Now here I can make outbound calls using that Amazon Chime phone number. I could also call anyone in my company completely for free because they're on my private phone system. Using the app is super easy. Of course, I could just dial a phone number like any other phone. But I can also go ahead and see everybody in my team under the Teams tab. I can grab my contacts from my actual phone here under Contacts. I can go ahead and send out a text message under Chats. These could be local chats or external text messages, whatever you prefer to do. And then we can see our voicemails right here as well, which I currently have none. You can even create a 3CX meeting right inside of the app. Just open up the hamburger icon and go over to Schedule or Meetings, your choice, and go ahead and add in a new meeting. You can see we have the option to turn on video here. So this is not necessarily just going to be a voice call. It's a full web conferencing system. Okay, so hopefully you're starting to see how amazing this is. We've got an entire phone system in our pocket. No hardware to manage, no server to maintain. Everything is done for us. Now you might be thinking, but yeah, that's great. Why would I choose this service over my existing VoIP provider or even just adding a cell phone line? Well, the cool thing about 3CX is that it integrates with everything inside of your business. So you can have all of your meetings, all of your chats, even your web conversations can go right through 3CX. That's right. You can actually chat with visitors on your website. I have a dedicated video on setting that up. So I'll link to that down below. Okay. Before we wrap up the video, I want to show you a few more cool features that are going to be helpful to you as you set up your phone system. So under the gear icon, we're going to go over to call handling. Remember when I connected the trunk, we set it up so that it dialed me directly. Well, we can actually create what's called a ring group, and we can also create a digital receptionist. Now, a ring group is exactly what it sounds like. If I add a new ring group, it's going to call everybody inside of this ring group, and whoever gets, gets to the call first is the one who answers the phone. So this is great for support teams or sales teams. You could set up an entire call center using this software. Similar to a ring group, but requiring some user input, is going to be a digital receptionist. I'm going to add a new digital receptionist here. What this is going to let users do is when they call in, they can route themselves over to sales or over to support whoever they need to see. So you just simply set up a key on the phone to route over to a person or a ring group that you want them to be able to reach. So if I had a ring group for sales and a ring group for support, I could assign number one to go over to a ring group for support and then number two, go over to sales. So it just rings everybody that's on the sales team. Super easy to set up and couldn't be more helpful. So that's how you set up 3CX's hosted PBX system. I think you're going to love it. Go ahead and give it a try for your business. If you've got nothing to lose. There's a free two-month trial with the link in the description. If you have any questions, make sure you hit me up in the comments. My name is Dave Swift. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.